Hi, this is Anna. Never really expected that my first YouTube video is gonna be on how to make a rocket, but basically I was in this physics class last year and um, I think I did a really good job and I was really proud of it, especially making a parachute. Um, and some of my friends this year are in that class and they uh, walked up to me and basically asked me how I did how I did it. So I thought it might be useful if I just explain a little bit. And if you happen to click on this video randomly but still find it interesting, you can you know you can still watch it. Um, but I would say that it's intended for my friends, so I didn't really explain the rules uh, that are given to us. So I kind of just expect whoever's watching it, like the viewers, um, to know what I'm talking about, like uh, the school assignment, right? So hope you find this useful. And um, here's the video you can watch. Um, I think it's the school Instagram account that posted my video, um, except that they spelt my name wrong. Uh, it's Anna, not A N N, but it's okay. Say three, two, one, and then pull. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, oh, my oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Six so points. Okay, so I think it might be helpful if I just explain my logic here a little bit. The main question is how not to break the egg, or I know that if you spend more time in the air. Um, you get extra points, so you want, also want extra time, right? So, so basically, how do you want the rocket to stay in the air for long enough? But besides having like a really good protection, like a really good crumble zone or like a good foam, like this one I had, it was just pretty amazing. Like I tested on its own that if you just put an egg in it and smash it on the floor and like, I don't know, like throw it into a wall, drop it on many floors, like it doesn't, the egg doesn't break. So I think... On, just this foam, it's enough, but you know, you gotta have a parachute just for fun, right? Um, but also, luck is a big thing, uh, but don't depend on that. Um, so basically, you want to have more time in the air because you'll probably reach the same height as everybody else. You just want to spend more time in the air so that the impact on the floor um, is not that strong. So how do you go higher? Um, you want to have a really neat nose cone. Um, it's really easy to make and the fins. Uh, so the main thing here is good execution. You gotta make it perfectly. Don't be sloppy with your taping, you know, just like, uh, that's very sus. Um, sometimes it gets a bit floppy and then, yeah, not good. Um, you also want the rocket to go as straight as, pos as, straight as possible. But um, basically for the parachute, I was thinking whether it's a good idea to put it inside or outside or maybe just dangling on the side. This is probably really sketchy, so I didn't do that. I know that if it's on the outside, because the weight is heavier on top of the rocket, it's gonna flip and, um, you know, the parachute never gets a chance to open. So my idea is to put it inside. So the main question here is how to get it out. And so the nose cone definitely has to fall off and, um, and parachute has to unfold properly. So it's just how you fold the parachute is a big thing. Then you make sure that it rolls out of the strings and expands properly. So the main problem is that how do you make sure that the nose cone fall off at the right timing, meaning at its maximum height? Because if it opens, if it falls off too early, the parachute opens, then um, there will be too much air resistance. So um, the first concern is that you cannot seal the cone. Otherwise, how can I get out? What I did is that I took advantage of the weight distribution that the tip of the, or at least the top part of the rocket is going to be heavier. So when it flips, um, the it's definitely gonna tilt, right? So the nose cone will fall off and then the parachute will come out. Okay, here's the part that I thought what I did was pretty cool. Um, I hope I did not sound narcissistic, but um, what I did was that, I mean, the main problem is how to put the cone on but not fall off that soon. Because the cone has a circular shape and this also is very really smooth and circular, it will just fall out pretty easily. And I tried. So what I did was that I made a ring around it. Um, you see, it's slightly angular, um, and it's a uh, octagon, right? Is that the word eight sides. Yeah. Um, so what I did is that I have two of those. Um, so I'll like lock in to each other. But the reason I did not pick a triangular shaped um, ring because I feel like it's gonna lock in too much and not slide off easily. And this is pretty close to. Uh, as you can see, pretty close to a circle, so it gives some, it gives it some movement and um, room to slide. So as you can see, the main idea here is that it would like insert, right, um, and then 
um, it gives some movement and it'll it will sort of lock in a little bit and then it would fall off and one thing i make sure that it falls off when it the whole thing tips is that i as you can hear i left some coins that i borrowed from my dear friend that i never returned um at the tip so adds a little bit of extra weight so it can like do i left my rock in a storage box so it does not look as good as like a year ago but as you can see i think i cut stuff like pretty neatly and taped it so it's pretty symmetrical and um so yeah just don't be sloppy with the fence and as for the parachute um i did test it out prior just the parachute and some weight at the bottom and uh, i folded properly threw it in the air and see if uh, whether it would open or not and it did so that was nice And, and by the way, I left um, one end of the string inside of this, so when I tips off, um, it expands, basically. And here comes some math. Basically, I measured the circumference of the bottle. Turns out to be 34 milli... Mm, what did I say? Milliliters. Um, <laughs> centimeters. And um, then you can figure out the radius of the bottle is around 5.414. No need to be that accurate. Uh, centimeters. Um, and then, as you can see, I needed like an eight-sided um, ring, and it would be easier to measure something with the right triangle, so I split one of the angle in half. So um, what I did is that um, since there are 16 of these, you find out that the angle is 22.5, and when you do tangent, you find out that x, this part, is 2.243 centimeters, and times two, this is 4.486. So basically you want a strip that is, that has like a 4.5 centi uh, centimeter of a um, section and uh, in total you want eight of these. And you cut the strip out, fold it, tie, uh, tie the ends together and it's a ring like what I did in the bottle. That That's basically it. Okay, so the final step is to put the egg in, right? And as I mentioned, I had a really good foam already. Um, and so you just need a... Oh my god, there's... <laughs> my egg is still in there. Um, I didn't take it out. But basically, I cut it into a circular shape. It's very sturdy. You can smash it, whatever. Right? And then, um, I think it is required to have one... Yeah, this bottle has to be not cut open because you have to put water in it and put air pressure uh, in it. So... So do not disturb this bottle and just do stuff on this um, this compartment. And basically, I stuff it in. I don't want to like, it's kind of hard to stuff it in right now, but that's what happened. And I bet there's better ways to make this rocket and you can just try to experiment. You don't have to have a parachute even. Um, like when I did the egg drop experiment, uh, you guys probably know, as you can see in the photo, I hang the foam in the middle of the box with rubber bands um, so that it's a really efficient crumble zone. So I think that if you make that little crumble zone happen inside here, it would work too. My only concern is that I think it would have enough. I don't know if there's enough crumble zone from either sides or on the sides. Depends on how the rocket falls on the ground. On the side, you only have this much like crumble zone, right? The egg has to be inside here. Or maybe there's other alternatives. You know, try it out. Um, experiment a little bit. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.